What's up guys? Today's video we are doing a Dairy Queen mukbang which I am super excited about because I have been craving Dairy Queen food for so long now. I have had their food once before so I do have a video on my channel where I tried their food for the very first time. It was so delicious and I have not had it since so I'm pretty excited to get it again today and then we're also going to be answering some questions that you guys asked me over on Instagram. So we are up to order. Let's go ahead ahead and please our order. Hey, how's it going? Um, do you guys have the gravy for the chicken strips? Yes. Okay, perfect. Could I get the three-piece chicken strip tray with gravy? The three-piece only come with a meal deal. You want meal deal? Um, yeah, does that come with fries? They come with fries, drink, and ice cream. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Work on a dip inside you like. No gravy. <laughs> I'll just do the gravy, yeah. And what can you drink? Could I do the mini Oreo Brookie Blizzard? You can switch the ice cream for the blizzard, but it's still coming with the drink. Oh, okay. I'll just do a. Do you have Coke products? Yes. Okay, I'll do a Coke Zero. Coke Zero. And you say the Oreo Brookie Blizzard? Oreo Brookie Blizzard treat. Yes, please. Okay. Anything for you? Yes. And then could I also do the two for five super snack with the pretzel sticks? We don't have pretzel sticks. Okay. Um, okay. Could I just do a chili cheese dog then? You want chili dog and what else? The chili cheese dog, and then do you guys have cheese curds here? You said cheese curds? Yeah, can I do the regular cheese curds, please? Okay. That's all for you? Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. You do like 1881, thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh no, they didn't have the pretzels again. Okay, I'm assuming my location just doesn't have the pretzels because I actually don't see them on the menu. So they have the onion rings, french fries, cheese curds. I think that's it. But yeah, they definitely don't have the pretzel twist here. They look so good though. Let me show you guys on my phone. So this is on their website. Pretzel sticks with zesty queso. Mm, they look so good. That's okay though. So the chicken strips with the gravy was actually the most recommended item from you guys because in my KFC mukbang, I asked y'all what I should get from Dairy Queen and y'all were all like, girl, you gotta get the chicken strips with the gravy. So that's what we're getting. I honestly don't think I would have gotten that myself if you guys hadn't told me to get them, but we'll see. I feel like it'll be good with the gravy. Hey, how's how it going? Doing? Good. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, thank you. Lizard. Basket. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Oh, I'm so excited about this blizzard. This is actually a new blizzard that they have. Honestly, none of their signature blizzards sounded all that good to me besides the Oreo one. So I figured I would get their new Oreo blizzard. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Have a good day. All right, you guys, Dairy Queen bag has been secured. We also got a little Dairy Queen box. Okay, let me find some parking here. Okay, I found some parking in a Starbucks parking lot, so hopefully we'll be okay here. But I do have the AC on, so if you guys hear it, it's like a good 80 degrees today. So that might be a little noisy, I do apologize. But let's do our big food reveal. So we have our Dairy Queen bag, as well as the Dairy Queen, I believe this is the chicken tender basket. So let's pop this open see what we got going on in here oh my gosh. it looks so good okay so we got some french fries we got our chicken strips these actually look really good look at their chicken strips 
wow usually i'm not too impressed with chicken strips unless it's like bojangles or raisin canes had good chicken strips i don't know it just it, chicken strips can be a hit or miss you know those look good though then we also got our gravy so we got that looking mad delicious then we also have our blizzard which mm, this looks so good and then in our bag we got our cheese curds also dq packaging it's a hit for me we love to see it we got some mustard mustard this is definitely ketchup got some ketchup and then our chili cheese dog at least i hope this is a chili cheese dog she might have just given me a chili dog but let's see what is a chili cheese dog oh my gosh this looks so good i am just always in the mood for a hot dog these days a good hot dog especially when it's hot outside yes sign me up <laughs> so delicious okay we actually got a pretty good mukbang setup going on here and then of course i got my coke zero love my coke zero i actually don't drink any diet sodas or like coke zero or anything like that at home so i only drink it when i'm doing these videos that's why it's so good Ooh, it's way less syrupy and more carbonated water which I don't mind. I love carbonated water. But I think for a lot of people, I don't think they would like this because there's not a whole lot of the syrup in there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to dive into is actually this hot dog. And then I will pull up one of y'all's questions. Let me show you guys up close what it looks like. Mmm, delicious. Wow. Mm. yeah very tasty very standard taste for a chili cheese dog but their actual dog on the inside mm. incredible oh yeah That's so good. Okay, let me pull up a question and then we'll try out these chicken strips with this gravy. Now they do have white gravy, which I actually was not expecting. I was thinking that it was gonna be brown gravy, but it's actually white gravy. I don't know if you guys can tell. The footage is a little washed out here okay first question is where do you find style slash fashion inspo i love your ootds thank you girl thank you so much <laughs> so i actually find my fashion and style inspo from like i don't know i guess just like within my closet and with previous outfits that i've made if that makes sense oh yeah i already dipped a chicken strip in here for the thumbnail but let's get some fresh gravy on there Okay, now I see why you guys were all saying to get this. This is so good. And this gravy is not too salty. This gravy is actually amazing. Oh my gosh. This is so good. But yeah, in terms of like my outfit and fashion inspo i really just pick out a piece from my closet and then i kind of build an outfit around that piece so i do do a fair amount of shopping a lot of times i'll have new clothing pieces that i'm really excited about that i want to style so i'll kind of take that one garment and i will build an outfit around that piece of clothing if that makes sense and i really go based off of like previous outfits that i've made or even just silhouettes that i know and love and trust i feel like we all have those outfit silhouettes that we kind of go for that we know complement our body so yeah i really just take i really just take inspo 
from one piece of clothing and then build my outfit around that particular clothing piece or even shoes a lot of times I'll build outfits around a pair of shoes that I want to wear that day you guys I just have to say as well these chicken strips so dang good like they are soft and juicy on the inside but they have like the perfect flavor and texture of the breading on the outside I'm actually really impressed with their chicken strips but yeah in terms of like fashion inspo my biggest advice is try to stay away from like Pinterest and stuff definitely use that as like I don't know I guess yeah like use it as inspo but don't build outfits solely based on something that you see on Instagram or Pinterest because a lot of times at least for me it just does not come out how I envision or how I thought it would come out or like I think it'll come out like the picture and then it doesn't or I just don't feel like me in the outfit because you're trying to recreate an outfit that someone else loves and feels comfortable in but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna love and feel comfortable in that outfit So, yeah, try to build outfits based on your own personal style and clothing pieces that you love. I should have got something to dip these cheese curds in. They have a lot of flavor, though. These are actually very good. They've already cooled down so we can't get a cheese pull. But those are tasty. So tasty. Mmm. <laughs> okay, next question. How many videos have you filmed and have not posted on YouTube? <laughs> if I had a guess, probably around five. I'm trying to count in my head yeah I think it's been around five videos that I filmed edited but never posted which is not too bad considering how many videos I have posted um okay I got a lot of questions about how to save money because a lot of people were saying that they have a really hard time saving money how can they go about saving money all of that so what I have is a separate savings account. So with my bank, I have a checking account and a savings account. Once I put money into my savings account, I do not touch it. So once it's in there, it's in there. It's like, if it's in my savings account, I pretty much don't have that money. <laughs> It's just money that is there, but not really there. Um, so any extra money that I have, I always put into my savings account. Even if it's like a couple hundred dollars. If I have it and it's extra, I'm putting it into my savings account and I'm not looking back. So make sure you have a separate savings account and if you don't like have a banking account or there's no way for you to get a savings account even just do like an old school piggy bank method just make sure that you have it separated from your like bills and play money or like the money that you spend Our blizzard is kind of melting, so I think I need to go ahead and try this. <laughs> but yeah, just make sure that you're putting money away into a savings account. The hard thing about saving is that like if you don't have extra money to save, how are you supposed to save? Oh, this is good. Oh, this is really good. You definitely taste Oreo, but there's something else in here. I should have read the description. <laughs> 
Mmm. Ooh, yes. Oh, y'all gonna need to try this one if you like Oreo. Did I mention the cotton candy? A lot of you guys were saying to get cotton candy. I can't do cotton candy flavor though. I used to like cotton candy as a kid, but now that I'm older, I just can't do cotton candy. I don't know. But yeah, a big thing with saving money is that you have to find ways to have extra money coming in to save. So trying to find multiple sources of income. Let me just give you an example. So my old boss, she was actually the HR manager. Well, she was actually the VP of HR at my last company. She had her job working in HR, but she also bought and flipped items on eBay. So she would go to yard sales, vintage stores, thrift stores, estate sales. She would buy really good items for cheap and then she would sell it for a lot higher on eBay and she actually made a lot of money doing this. So basically flipping items for profit. And you can do this with so many different things. Okay, their fries are good too. Dairy Queen low-key has some bomb food. I mean, I loved it the last time, but I wish we had one of these in my town because this place is about 20 minutes away, which isn't bad. It actually takes me about 20 minutes to get to the other side of town. So the fact that I can get to a town over in 20 minutes is not bad at all. But yeah, anyways, okay, I'm getting off topic here. <laughs> Lots of people buy and sell sneakers. So they have all these bots set up on these sneaker stores and sneaker websites, and they're buying sneakers for retail, and then they're flipping the sneakers on StockX and Goat. Or like Gabe's friend he actually knows a guy who owns a sneaker boutique in our town so this guy buys and sells sneakers and he makes a lot of money doing it so there are lots of ways to make side income obviously a big second income for me is youtube so i would say like if you can start up social media for like side income do it but you can't just do it for the money like if i were only doing youtube for the money i probably wouldn't be doing it anymore i started youtube because i loved it my whole point is that whether it's social media or something else try to diversify your income and have multiple streams of income so that you have more income to save There's actually a lot of videos on YouTube teaching ways to make money outside of like your typical jobs. Some of it's social media related, some of it isn't. So if you're in interested in diversifying your income, check out a video like that. <laughs> okay. That was kind of a long drawn out answer. <laughs> Next question, do you plan on using your social work degree? I'm going for mine. No, I do not plan on using my social work degree for social work, but I am using my degree for my current job. So becoming a recruiter was a lot easier with a bachelor's degree in general. So I do feel like my degree came in use that way, but in terms of using my social work degree for a social work job, no, I don't wanna be in social work I have no interest to ever be in social work. I love recruiting. That's probably the route I'll stay on until I maybe decide to do something else, whether that's with social media or whatever the case may be. What are your most recent moving plans? Okay, so this is a hard question to answer because I just, yeah, I don't really know. I really wanna buy a house, but I am so picky with houses and Gabe is really picky with houses too so we're just kind of like do we really want to live like where we're living now because the houses here they're just not it I 
a lot of people who have really nice beautiful houses and I'm not just talking like big elegant houses on the outside but like truly comfy beautiful homes on the inside are those who built their house recently a lot of the houses that are for sale where we live are just not like they're just so old-fashioned and out of style and like I'm just really picky I know what I want and I want what I want and I'm not gonna buy a house to like flip it because I, I don't have time to like do house renos right now so I really want a nice newer build so I think we're just gonna build a house I really think that's what we're gonna end up doing but the next problem is, is like we don't know where we want to live we don't really want to settle down in Greensboro where we're at currently I kind of want to move out to Charlotte he thought maybe Raleigh but it's like should we move out of North Carolina entirely <laughs> so we don't know where we want to end up exactly and that's the problem so that's why we haven't really taken buying a house all that serious because we truly just don't know where we want to end up and we don't want to be buying and selling houses we don't want to buy a house and then have to turn around and sell it within a year or two because we want to move somewhere else so we're just trying to be smart and really figure out where we want to live before we buy a house so i think we might stay in our current apartment until we decide we want to build a house because i also don't want to just keep moving apartments so it's just hard i guess the biggest issue is just the fact that we don't know where we want to live <laughs> That definitely makes the situation so much harder. How many siblings do you have? I have, oh God, this guy cannot park. <laughs> I have an older brother and a younger sister. My sister is 24, I believe. Yeah. And then my brother is 31. Yeah. <laughs> So sister is 24, brother 31. How did you get so confident to film in public? I want to, but I'm nervous. Basically what I do is just try to pretend that like no one's watching me. <laughs> like I just try to like act invisible. Even though I'm doing something that people may wanna like stare at or be like, what is she doing? Why does she have a camera out? I just act like nobody cares about what I'm doing because <laughs> most of the time they don't I know for me personally when I see someone doing something out of the norm in public I purposely don't like look because I just find it very intrusive and like I respect people's privacy I just think it's the right thing to do is like not stare at people <laughs> so I just assume that nobody cares about what I'm doing they're not paying attention to me they're worried about them and them own selves so just do you like if you want to film out in public if anyone ha has the time or boredom to watch you most likely they're just people watching and it's like they're gonna people watch other people too so don't let it bother you. Man, these Oreo chunks in here. I'm getting pretty full, so I don't want to eat too many of the, the Oreo chunks. But those are so good. I wish they did give you a lid for these blizzards, though, because transporting all of my leftovers home is going to be a, a bit difficult. My table's a mess. <laughs> Okay, my camera is getting really close to dying, so let me try to knock out a few more questions. I'm gonna finish this little hot dog here. Um, next question, would you ever live out of state and where? I really wanna move to Utah or Arizona. So, 
when Gabe and I went to Salt Lake City, Utah, oh my gosh, I fell in love. Oh yeah, look at my nails. I didn't even show you guys my nails. They're little bunnies for Easter. How cute is that? But yeah, so I fell in love with Salt Lake City. I would love to move out to Utah, but I've always felt this like pull to Arizona. I've always wanted to move out to Arizona. So maybe Arizona, but I don't know. The sky is the limit, you know? I definitely don't want to rule anywhere out, but I would love to live somewhere other than North Carolina. Okay, I got quite a few questions about my job and how I found it because I am working a remote position. So I actually got my job through an old colleague. My old colleague I was working with at my last job and then she moved to the company that I'm currently working at and then she got me a job there because initially I had quit my last job because I wanted to try to do YouTube full time or I guess I just wanted to focus on YouTube full time but I was still looking for something work from home at the same time so she got the job there they were actually looking for more recruiters so she ended up recommending me to them and said that I would be like a great recruiter for them so I basically got the job from knowing someone which as you progress in your career you want to make sure that you're building relationships with people um connecting with people on linkedin you know building those connections and relationships with coworkers is so important because you never know where they could end up they could help you get a job somewhere else that's way better than where you're at so yeah build those relationships make those connections because it will help you in the long run um okay next question does youtube pay a sufficient amount to live off of okay so it just depends i mean i think for me like i can only answer this for myself obviously because everyone gets different views different watch time different ads are shown on their videos so everyone makes different amounts of money for me personally at this point in time i could live off of just youtube but again like i said earlier i think diversifying your income is so important i love having multiple sources of income um i don't know i just think if you can have multiple sources of income do it like why would i quit my work from home job to do youtube full time when i get paid a substantial salary from my work from home job like i might as well keep it stay on my grind and have multiple sources of income and hopefully in the future i'll have enough money saved up to kind of you know do what i want to do so right now the way it kind of works is my full-time job as a recruiter pays for all my bills and like gas food all of my uh, uh, money that goes in my youtube channel because i spend a lot of money keeping my youtube channel up and going so my recruiting job pays for all of that and i still have quite a bit left over so all the money that i make from youtube is just goes to my savings is fun money goes into my investing So if I were to quit my full-time job, my YouTube money would have to pay for all my bills, all the money that goes into my YouTube. I wouldn't have as much money left over to like save and do what I want with. So yeah, I think it's just really important to try to build your streams of income, which again, I could do that more so with social media, but at the same time i really love recruiting i do and i don't want to give it up because 
I love it and I want to do a whole video on like my job as a recruiter how I maybe got into it more stuff on money management and saving money I'm gonna do like a whole separate video on that because I could talk about that for ages so if that's something you guys would want to see let me know <laughs> I think that's all the questions I'm going to answer because my camera is about to die here soon and I'm pretty full. I actually haven't ate hardly anything the last two days because I actually got food poisoning. This was probably three days ago now, four days ago. It was like coming off the weekend. Worst case of food poisoning ever I've actually never had food poisoning before so maybe it's always like that but I thought I was dying it was severe you guys I'm not even gonna go into like how I got it all of that because that would take forever for me to explain but yeah I had a very bad case of food poisoning I finally feel better well I felt better yesterday but I still just was not eating today I finally woke up and like felt like I could eat a good meal but let me tell you food poisoning is not the move i think that's the worst sickness i've ever had in my life like worse than covid worse than meningitis because i've had meningitis before that was terrible yeah food poisoning just wipes you out for a good three days but in the worst way possible okay well that's a great way to end off this video but i hope you guys enjoyed seeing me eat dairy queen i killed all of those um chicken tenders those were very good so thank you guys for the suggestion also that blizzard delicious overall this video 10 10 delicious food i loved it but i also love you guys so so much thank you all for watching please drop a thumbs up down below and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>